Hey everyone, welcome to my channel if you're new, welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. My name's Jonathan, I make luxury videos, unboxings, and reviews, and today's video I got a triple unboxing for you, so let's get into it. Before I get started with today's video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I make videos every Friday, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, it's great to have you back. I hope you had a great holiday season, everybody. And so without further ado, let's get into the unboxings. So I did purchase these items separately. Um, one of them I did order online, and the other two I did purchase through my sales associate. But the online order, I did ask for them to ship it to the boutique. That way, when I went to go pick up the other two items, it was going to be all there for me at once. Because I do find sometimes that um, when you order online and you ask them to ship it to your home address, it does take a lot longer than if you were to get it shipped to the boutique. So I wanted to collect these items as soon as possible because we are now going into a full province lockdown. So I wasn't sure how that was going to affect the malls. And I didn't want to have to wait, especially with a lot of the postal services being so overwhelmed during this holiday season. I didn't want my package to get delayed or lost. And I've been seeing a lot of horror stories right now with like the UPS drivers or the courier drivers like stealing packages and ain't nobody stealing my Louis Vuitton items. So that's why I'd rather just get it shipped to the boutique and that way it will come a lot quicker than if it was gonna get shipped to my home address. So yeah, so the first item that I did order this is the receipt that it came with, and this is the box that it did, uh, the bag that it did come with. Like I mentioned in my previous video, there was no holiday bags anymore because they did get recalled. So I did get the holiday ribbon. And so this item I actually purchased was, uh, just by looking at the receipts. Okay, so this item is going to be uh, a gender refill. So if you watched one of my older triple unboxing videos I did purchase the pocket organizer which I actually do have with me right here so this is the pocket organizer that I did purchase so I purchased the 2021 agenda refills so that's what this guy is so let's go ahead and open it for you so oh wow she I don't know the, do, do they usually come with a dust bag? I, I didn't I didn't think that this item would come with a dust bag, to be honest. But it comes with a dust bag, like so. And then opening it up, it comes in this little um, box, I guess. Say, with the Vivian and then the 2021. This is my first time purchasing an agenda refill, so I have I had no idea what to expect. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. And then opening up the box itself, you get the actual agenda refill. Yeah, this is so cute. Um, it has like a gold uh, trimming for the pages, which I think is pretty fancy. And then throughout the actual booklet itself, you, s you have like the days of the week where you can write your notes on there. And then it does have pages for the calendar. And then what I personally liked when I saw it online is it has little pictures of the Vivian when she is um, like different, doing different things, I guess, which I think was pretty cool for every new month that they have. So yeah, I am super excited to put this into my agenda. I'm actually gonna do that right now just to see how it looks. So I'm guessing that the first page will slide in like so. Oh, and it comes with stickers. I didn't realize that. Okay. It comes with two little stickers with the Vivian doing some other aquatic things. And then it has like the monogram. And then this one has a basketball with the Louis Vuitton monogram on there as well as more Vivian. Oh, that's cute. I didn't realize that. That's so cute. I'm going to put that to the side. And how would I put this without stretching out the... Okay, this is going to be interesting. Oops, technical difficulties. But okay, so I'm sliding it in one of the, the back pages like so. And then do I have to like crease this? 
or would it just be like this? Can somebody let me know down in the comment section below if, if I'm doing this wrong? I actually have no idea. I would have assumed that it would just open up fully like a book, but I don't mind keeping it like this. So that way when I open it, I see like the cover sheet, but I would have imagined that this would have gone in here, but I don't want to like ruin it. I don't want to like crease the front page. So if you can let me know how this works, that would be great. Um, Cause I am curious to see how other people or people who get the refills do it. But yeah, that this is what I wanted to get for this little guy, just because when I, by the time I purchased this, the 2020 agenda refills were um, kind of sold out and then they were popping in and out here and there, but I wasn't going to be paying, uh, this was 65 Canadian dollars. I wasn't going to be paying 65 Canadian dollars to have a, a refill for less than six months of the year. Um, so that's why I waited for the 2021s to come out. So yeah, I messaged my sales associate and she had this in stock. So I'm super happy and this is this looks pretty cute. I'm happy about this. Okay, so the next item is the one that I purchased online. And so this is the receipt that it did come with. And I've actually already unboxed this on my channel before. Um, but when I saw it pop up on the website, I was just immediately impulse buying it. So this is the mini pochette um, in the monogram. So um, as I mentioned in my previous videos, this one does cost $420 Canadian and after tax it's about $475 Canadian dollars. Why do I need a second monogram mini pochette? Honestly, I don't, but it's always nice to have, especially with like the Louis Vuitton price increases all the time. These items are really hard to find and it's really sought after, so I figured I would have a second one just in case my first one gets ruined. Um, I know I'm that kind of person where I like to have sometimes double of items. So yeah, I purchased this little guy um, from the website and they actually put the holiday ribbon on there, which I was quite surprised at. I haven't actually ordered much from Louis Vuitton for during the Christmas season. Um, so I never actually expected to get the holiday tag with it. And so, but I did. Um, so opening it up, this is the box that it did come with. And then this is the dust uh, dust bag. And I have all these things everywhere. Um, so yeah, this is the mini pochette in the monogram. And so like I, like my other videos, it is made. Oh, this one is made in Spain. It has the Vachetta tab, and then has the gold chain that goes along with it, as well as I believe. Uh, yeah it has the two textile codes in here and so the day code for this one is ub4290 and again all the mini pochettes are made out of coated fabric cowhide leather trim but one thing that i think is pretty interesting is they actually stuffed it with paper this time around um i've, I've never had them stuff it before so that was quite interesting to see um but yeah this is the mini pochette i've done videos on this before i'll leave it up to here if you want to see a more in-depth unboxing or in-depth review but yeah this is something that i don't necessarily need but it's definitely a collector's item so i'm gonna be keeping this in my collection hopefully and if i ever ruin my other one because i am using my monogram one for my palm springs mini backpack so I just like to have doubles just in case, especially because this is so hard to come by. And recently this year, like they've been restocking a lot of the mini pochettes. So I've been quite happy with that. So I was able to get, uh, they're not as hard to find as they were in subsequent years. But yeah, this is my little unboxing of the mini pochette for my second item. Okay, and so the last item is probably one of the hardest items or hardest SLGs to get from Louis Vuitton. It is like the most sought after one in my opinion, and I've actually never seen the stock on the website. I probably seen a stock once or twice, and then it was literally instantly sold out within like five seconds. Like if you're not there right when they per uh, say place in cart, and you have like one or two seconds to think about it, like don't. You just place it in your cart and check out and then be done with it. Like don't even hesitate. Um, the one time that I did see it, I hesitated quite a bit and then it was instantly sold out by the time I actually put place in cart. So I was super, super surprised when my sales associate messaged me saying that she had one in stock because even she said that her store hardly ever gets any of them. And if they do, it's like 
far and few between them. Like they only maybe get like one or two within like a six month span and they're instantly sold out just like that. So I did not hesitate when she messaged me saying that she had one in stock. I was just like, yes, please just charge my card. And then thought about it later because I actually have probably no use for this bag or this SLG because to be honest, I don't really carry that much with me. Um, but I just impulse bought it because it was available. So yeah, this is the receipt that it did come with. So this is going to be the pochette accessoire. So in Canada, it does retail for 825 Canadian dollars. And um, after tax, it's about $932. So I know that this, this piece, especially this year, has gone up quite a bit already. So I wanted to get it before they have A, if probably going to discontinue it, or B, um, have the price increase even more. So this, in my opinion, is definitely worth the investment because over the, the like over the years this this price this piece itself sorry has just increased substantially um so this one oh this one has uh, a different ribbon on it it didn't come with the holiday card or the holiday ribbon but that's okay um so i actually don't have one of these ribbons so i have i'm gonna keep this in my collection i usually keep all of the ribbons does anybody else do that like i'm a huge hoarder i have like a box full of the ribbons from all previous years or all of my purchases, even like little cards. So I just keep everything. I'm like a huge, huge hoarder when it comes to these things. But yeah, um, it comes in this magnetic box like so. And one thing that I actually do like about these boxes is these blue tabs. If you were to like push it out, you can actually collapse it and make it flat, which I think is pretty good for like storage purposes. I personally keep all my boxes just um constructed already just because i like to use them for display purposes or like i put my, my old dust bags or my other smaller boxes in here so they're definitely good for like storage um so this is the piece like i mentioned it is the pochette accessoire and wow this this is interesting i've never actually seen one of these in person so i'm quite amazed at this um, I think it does, it does, well, it does come with a strap, but they just put it on the inside and then it does have a pocket and then doesn't have the cards. Yeah. Okay. So it does have the two textile cards. This one is, oh wow. The day code for this one is UB4290, which is the same day code as the mini pochette, <laughs> which I find quite interesting. And then the textile card, um, it does say coated fabric, cowhide leather trim, man-made lining. And so with the new version of the pochette accessoire, you do get that pocket on the inside where the date coat is featured. And let, you know what, because I have them both, let's, let's just do a quick comparison. Um, well, if I didn't mention, oh wow, this one is made in Spain. If I didn't mention that before. Okay, interesting. I've seen a lot of these made in France recently, so I assume that this would be made in France as well. I mean, I'm not a huge stickler for where it's made. Um, I do sometimes prefer it being made in France, but to be honest, for me to get this piece, it was just like, I didn't care where it was going to be made. So let's just do a quick size comparison between the pochette accessoire and the mini pochette. So as you can see, the mini pochette is substantially a lot, like substantially smaller. Um, I wonder if you actually can fit the mini pochette inside. I mean, what, what, why would you do that? But I, just for demonstration purposes, let's see. Okay, so the mini pochette does fit inside the pochette accessoire quite comfortably. And you can actually fit a lot more in here if you wanted to. Like you can fit like your card holder, you could probably fit like some lipsticks or chapsticks or hand sanitizers as well as your mini pochette. So this is, this is pretty cute. I'm, I'm not going to lie. This is, this is definitely like worth the hype in my opinion. So if you're able to get one of these, I highly, highly suggest it. I personally don't know what I would use this for just because I don't really tend to carry a lot with me and um, I don't know what like how I would use it. And this, in my opinion, is just a little bit too big to use as a wristlet. I personally probably would not use this as a crossbody bag just because um, it's just not a look that I'm really like, I really enjoy um, for this piece anyway. 
but yeah, um, that was like, that's, uh, that was so cute to have the mini pochette and the pochette accessoire day code to be the same. Um, but yeah, this, this is accessoire. I know that a lot of people are looking for it and my advice to you is just constantly check the website if you can or just hound your sales associate and they will come through especially during like the holiday time I feel as though they've been getting a lot more um, harder to find pieces at least in Toronto Canada that is um, I've noticed that they've been restocking a lot of mini pochettes I've seen a lot of like nano speedies coming out I've seen pochette accessoires I've seen like all these hard to come items right now during the holiday season i think they're just trying to have like a push because the demand is so there which i think is really great because it does help alleviate people paying hundreds of dollars more than retail for these kind of items but again if your region doesn't and you really like i really think that this is worth a couple hundred dollars or maybe a hundred dollars more than you would possibly pay from a reseller i definitely don't think that these are worth double the price i have seen some people sell these for like two thousand canadian dollars and in my opinion they're not worth that much so i would not pay over retail for that to be honest i'm not a huge fan of paying over retail for anything in general to be honest just because if it's meant to be it's meant to be just wait and you'll find it but if you've been like checking for like years or months or however long and you just desperately want to get it a reasonable price, I think, in my opinion, is $100 or $200 more than retail, depending on the exclusivity of the item. Again, limited edition pieces are completely a different story. Once those are discontinued, the markup is going to be there because they're not being made anymore. But because this item has not been discontinued yet, it's definitely worth waiting for um, or just worth paying a couple hundred more, depending on what you want. Um, but then again, that's subjective to any everybody. But yeah, this is my unboxing of the pochette accessoire. Thank you so much for watching. Question of the day is, do you think the pochette accessoire is worth the hype? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.